guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today in front of you have an interesting watch inside this box. This is the Novamos Aerospace, a really interesting watch on a titanium case and a bit larger size, I must say, but it's really quite interesting. You open the box there, you can see the whole movement inside through the actual watch, uh, which is very interesting. This brand is from Hong Kong and they did uh, fund their watch on Kickstarter and now they are for sale. I'll drop a link to them down in the description below. First, let's get started with our, uh, what's on my wrist today and then we'll jump right into it. On my wrist today is the Bostock Amphibia. This is a Russian dive watch, um, very, very popular in the past. Not so much now, but um, just a great everyday watch. It always runs, it really never fails you. Um, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I believe I've owned this watch for about, ooh, about 10 years now and it hasn't failed me yet, so. <laughs> Now the watch also does come with a little manual as you can see here, uh, no vamos, and it just tells you your little barcode here. Um, you can scan for your you know, warranty and instruction manual. Inside you will get a little detailed breakdown of the watch in English and a couple other languages in this gray envelope. Now here is the watch in question itself, the aerospace. Comes in a few different variations as well, a few different colors. To me it kind of resembles like craters and uh, outer space on different planets, which is pretty interesting. And it's really quite crazy if you look how they made this watch. And I've never seen anything like this before. You get a pull and push crown at the three o'clock position. And basically all your time reading is done at the three o'clock portion of the watch or the right side of the watch. And it's complete exhibition uh, case back and full see-through movement. So you basically kind of have to come a little closer. You can see the actual time there and the fine minute, minute markings. Very interesting. That is a sapphire crystal as well. Um, just a really interesting watch. The actual watch itself is crafted of solid titanium and it's a very smooth finish. It's a circular case, obviously. It's a pull and push crown, not a water, water resistant watch, but you know, you get like 50 meters of water resistance. Flipping to the case back, you can see the movement there. And this portion over here, um, which is kind of like you can open up, it looks like, or which is another portion. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, to be quite honest. Now, the movement inside its watch is a custom hangs wow movement, or hangs out movement. The 6600A, it's a movement made in China, it's automatic. You get hand winding, you get about a 38 hour power reserve. And they're, from what I've seen so far, they're pretty reliable. I've seen a few of these before from other brands. Um, you do get self winding, it is already running though. Then you pull the crown out and you do get hacking. Uh, so that's nice to see. You can get a glimpse of the movement a little closer, I get you in on a macro level. It's not a bad looking movement if you really look at the inner workings of it. Some nice perlage work on there. You get loomed hands as well. And an interesting sweeping seconds hand with a little bird on it. I thought that was quite interesting. You see that little bird going around the dial. And then you get a rotor on the back. You can see the rotor there, just pretty plain. Uh, yeah, nothing quite crazy there. Um, but yeah, the watch itself obviously is a little larger. Um, the watch itself in terms of measurements we're looking at. About 50 millimeters I got across, so it's a 50 millimeter circular case. In terms of case thickness here, we're looking at 13 millimeters. The band itself is 24 millimeters, which is definitely normal for a 50 millimeter case. Um, but yeah, it's 13 millimeter thick, so it's not that thick. Um, I wouldn't really worry about lug to lug, considering it's a completely circular lugless design here. Uh, the strap integrates into the case there, as you can see. It goes actually inside this portion. There's actually a little slot here that goes inside. Uh, which is quite interesting. It's a genuine leather band. It's not too bad, the quality of the band. As you can see here at Novamos, uh, you get a titanium buckle as well, two safety keepers. The band is uh, pretty flexible, pretty decent quality, I must say. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a pretty interesting watch. If you look at all these little kind of craters on here, these are not going to break off or anything. It's very tough. Everything is milled and cut very nicely there. And the crystal itself is raised there with anti-reflective coating. You can see that blue hue. That is the anti-reflective coating. Uh, there is a little loom on the hands. Uh, not, you know, obviously not a crazy loomed watch, uh, considering the kind of watch it is. Um, but other than that, you know, it runs fine. If you like an interesting, crazy, weird design, uh, and you're into outer space and stuff like that, this could be, you know, something for you. Um, but yeah, let me throw it on my wrist. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist. I must say it does have a lot of wrist presence. Not too thick considering it's only 13 millimeters. Um, but head on, you can see there's a lot of wrist presence there. And uh, I would say it reaches maybe a millimeter over my wrist, as you can see on the edges of my wrist. My wrist is not that big. So if you have like a seven inch wrist, it would probably fit you a little bit better. Um, but that's, that's the watch on my actual wrist there. The buckle is actually really nice. Conforms nicely to the band there. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, you know, 
hurt my wrist or anything. It's very comfortable, it wears perfectly flat on the wrist. It's a pretty nice fit. It's not too heavy considering it is titanium, which is much lighter than 316L stainless steel. So furthermore, guys, I think this is just a very interesting watch, something completely out of the ordinary. And obviously it's a you know unique design. There's no other watches that really look like these models. Um, I believe Novamos released some other brands. I believe they released some smart watches as well in the past. Um, this is kind of their, you know, automatic watch. This is their automatic release. They're, I believe, one of their first automatic watches. Um, but yeah, if you like, you know, interesting stuff, this could be for you. Um, let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below. I will drop a link to them so you can check them out. Of course, if you like what you see, you can always purchase one from their website. I'm not here to sell you anything, uh, just to show you the product. Um, but yeah, um, reliable movement, 38 hours power reserve, decent movement. I've seen some of these movements in some other watches as well. And they always run pretty good. Um, nice buckle, nice band, and case finishing is very good, smooth, no sharp edges or anything like that. And overall, it's a pretty, you know, well-made watch. The watch is very, very nicely made. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with your friends, leave me a comment down below. And uh, let me know what you think of this watch. Really, really interesting. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.